Y'all scared for it. Damn, they shooting though. Just stay down, just stay down. I would just stay down. I don't want you to move. I mean, cause it sounds like it's over by a building or something. He's alright. He's just a puppy. He's scared though, because he heard them shots and started shaking. Hi, baby. Hi. I gotta go find No, you're good, you're good. Be safe. Just a, a couple minutes earlier when I was out here in the scene, there was tons of people out here running and screaming about what was happening, what was going on. We was actually in the sneakers parking lot where uh, we actually saw, I actually saw a person that was on the ground when the uh, shoot, well, the aftermath, the shooting that took place, and I spoke to several different people. Well, the latest is we just got that information. Police are still calling it. And that's what we just got the information about. There was two, three people that were shot. Two are in critical condition right now, and one person is deceased. Now, I was actually mentioning Ibley out here earlier today, uh, tonight, I should say, and the scene, paint the picture is this, is that so many people was out here running, screaming about what happened, what took place. I was actually there in the parking lot where I did saw a individual was on the ground and that the uh, uh, sneakers uh, a location, a parking lot, the a lot itself, and it was a scene. Tons of police presence was out here. But like I did mention, uh, we spoke to different people on camera, and they were just telling us how they actually saw and witnessed the whole thing. That we'll be able to probably hear uh, later at 11 o'clock tonight. Hearing from them where uh, they witnessed the shooting, where they saw the person and a person's getting shot. Uh, so that's something that we'll be hearing later on at 11 o'clock. But as of right now, two people are. are uh, in critical condition right now, and then one is uh, deceased. So that is the scene right now, and also we'll be hearing more information uh, and mor a Monday morning, as uh, the JFR, uh, JFRD, as you mentioned. But right now, I'm passing back to you, Emily, at the station. Ashley News, Jackson, Nicholas Brooks. Breaking news. We're going to get you right out to that breaking news right now. We're getting a briefing from Jacksonville Beach Police where there are shooters on the loose. Let's go right out to the public information officer right now. But if you like to be, at, uh, um, I'm sorry, if you'd like to be at 8 a.m. in the morning at the police department, we will be doing a press conference and providing more information as we gather it through the evening. Okay, and, and Sergeant, can you tell us, you said suspects, are police sure that there's multiple shooters here? We believe there are, but that's what we're still trying to figure out, just due to the scope of the area. So we've got uh, we've got a lot of work ahead of us to figure out everything, put all the pieces together. So um, we're just asking that if anybody sees anything, hears anything, knows of someone that was involved, to please call the Jacksonville Beach Police Department so we can get that information. And also, do we and know who started the gunfire? We do not, not at this time. Was it in a restaurant or was it out on the street? It was out in the open. So. That's all we've got for right now. Um, I encourage you at eight in the morning, um, we would have more information for you that we can provide and uh, we'll see you then. Is it still considered an it's active still shooter considered, situation in lockdown? Yes, yes, we are okay. still locked down. We will be locked down in this area until further notice. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. 
All right, so just to give you a recap, because we kind of got into that a little bit late, but here's what we know has happened. We know that three people were shot at Jacksonville Beach tonight, just after sunset. We know the first scene was at 2nd Avenue North and the beach. Two people were transported from that scene, one in serious, one in non-life-threatening condition. And that there is another scene that happened in the sneakers parking lot right by sneakers and Walgreens. And we know a person, a third person, was transported to the hospital there in critical condition at this point. Jacksonville Beach police are saying that there are multiple, they believe, multiple shooters still on the loose. Our sources are telling us this is not an active shooter situation. This was more contained, that these suspects knew each other, but there are suspects on the loose. They are asking people to stay away from that area in the meantime as they are searching for those suspects. There have been uh, police helicopters in the air with their spotlights on trying to find the person or people that they're saying are responsible. They will be having a press conference tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. I can tell you that one of the scenes, the first scene right there, Second Avenue and the beach, we've seen video uh, from folks who were on the beach at the time and those gunshots were fired and they were running. We're working to get uh, that for you now. But in the meantime, Nicholas Brooks has been on the scene for the majority of the evening. And we are going to go to him right now with what he's heard from folks who have been out there tonight. Nicholas. Just got that information. Police are still calling this. And yes, but we just got the information about that was two, three people that were shot. Two are in critical condition right now, and one person is deceased. Now, I was, as you mentioned, Abley, out here earlier today, uh, tonight, I should say, and the scene, paint the picture is this, is that so many people was out here running, screaming about what happened, what took place. I was actually there in the parking lot where I did saw a individual was on the ground and that the uh, sneakers uh, a location, a parking lot, the a lot itself, and it was a scene. Tons of police presence were out here. But like I did mention, uh, we spoke to different people on camera, and they were just telling us how they actually saw and witnessed the whole thing. That we'll probably hear uh, later at 11 o'clock tonight. Hearing from them where uh, they witnessed the shooting, where they saw the person and you know, a person's getting shot. Uh, so that's something that we'll be hearing later on at 11 o'clock. But as of right now, two people are uh, in critical condition right now, and one is uh, deceased. So that is the scene right now. And also we'll be hearing more information uh, and more, a Monday morning as uh, the JFR, uh, JFRD, as you mentioned. But right now I'm passing back to you, Emily, at the station. Ash News Jacks, Nicholas Brooks. All right, thank you so much, Nicholas. Of course, we will continue to stay updated on all of this. We're going to send the viewers on CBS back to your regular programming. We'll have more on CBS uh, at 11 o'clock tonight. In the meantime, we'll continue on with our Fox programming.